Greetings, all! Today, we will be examining the common Psychic Flying-type Pokémon Woobat, the Bat Pokémon, and its uncommon evolution Swoobat, the Courting Pokémon. Though they certainly might not be among the most conventional of Psychic-type Pokémon out there, the members of the Woobat family are still interesting creatures that can definitely put their deceptive speed to good use when needed. Woobat possess spherical bodies covered in thick, shaggy, clay-blue hair that completely obscures most of their physical features. The only exceptions to this are their black wings, which stick up and out from their body, their mouth, and their nose. Their mouth has only a single tooth in it, which they use to pierce the fruits that they regularly feed on, and their nose is incredibly large for their form with a large, heart-shaped central nasal opening that comprises nearly the entirety of its volume. Their evolved form, Swoobat, retain their shaggy body hair, but much more of their body's finer dark blue hair and body parts are exposed, with even larger black wings, visible black three-toed feet, a visible head, and a large pair of pink, tail-like extensions on their backside that twirl together into a knot-like form on an almost constant basis. Their ears are very large and are joined together in the center into one form to make them more effective at catching and funneling any sound waves that come their way into their inner body. Their eyes are also quite large, being black in color, and while their nose retains its same general shape and form, they now have a full set of teeth, with their lower canines in particular being quite large and protruding from their mouth on a constant basis. Unlike their contemporaries in the Zubat family, the dark forest and cave-dwelling members of the Wubat family feed not on the vital fluids of others, but instead small insects and especially the juice of fruits, using their fangs to pierce the soft flesh of fruits so they can easily drink the juice to obtain the sustenance they need to survive. Because of this alteration to their feeding habits, instead of developing the ability to use toxins to incapacitate prey, these creatures have developed the power to freely wield psychic energy as a weapon, being the result of their fine-tuned audio reception and generation capabilities, developing to the extent of allowing them to manipulate sound freely and in turn the air around them, granting them limited psychic control of their surroundings. Regardless, this grants them access to a unique mixture of flying and psychic type attacks, among other types, and can make them a bit harder to handle at first compared to their contemporaries. This is not the only difference between them, however, as unlike most bats, these creatures actually release ultrasonic cries through their noses and not their mouth, taking full advantage of their respiratory systems to deliver sonic assaults. Swoobat in particular are able to release sonic blasts of different frequencies that are capable of causing large boulders and concrete blocks to crumble to pieces, overall making them a danger to face without some form of sonic protection on one side. Thankfully for most trainers, these bats are fairly simple-minded for the most part, and are much goofier and carefree in their behavior compared to the members of the Zubat family, and are generally a joy to be around. This is perfectly reflected in their abilities, as both Wubat and Swubat have access to unaware and klutz as base abilities, and for those that are particularly calm-natured and simple in mindset, there is access to the simple ability as a hidden ability. In terms of stats, in the case of Swoobat, while they do gain somewhat early access to some decently powerful attacks, these bats are generally on the weaker side and possess below average stats for the most part as fully evolved psychic and flying type Pokemon. The only exception to this is their base speed stat, which can at the very least allow them to rapidly fly circles around their opposition and try to get the drop on them where they are most vulnerable before they can properly defend themselves. Much as with traditional bats, Wubat utilize their ability to emit ultrasonic cries to observe their surroundings through echolocation, and while Swoobat can freely observe their surroundings with their eyes, that is not an option for Wubat, as the thick hair that covers their body completely obscures their small black eyes, forcing them to rely on echolocation as their only way of determining where they are and where they are going or need to go. These creatures are further different from normal bats in that they have completely lost their lower legs due to a genetic defect, and thus seemingly have no way to perch in order to sleep. But this is not in fact the case. The same nose that Wubat used to emit their ultrasonic cries 
is also perfectly textured and structured for these creatures to be able to use them like a vacuum, placing them up against walls and ceilings and inhaling through them strongly in order to create a tight seal that sticks them to the surface. They can remain attached to that surface for many hours at a time, holding the suction in place while shallowly breathing through their mouth to get the oxygen they need. Interestingly, when these creatures dislodge themselves from their perch, the intense sucking leaves a heart-shaped mark on the surface of the material they were attached to. Not only does this allow them to readily execute the unique heart stamp attack, but it is said that these markings are a sign of good luck when applied to the skin of someone. So those that are down on their fortunes will often enter areas filled with these bats in order to hopefully change their luck, even if the heart stamp attack to follow will be at least mildly painful to experience. Unlike many types of Pokemon, Wubat are normally unable to evolve in their state due to a genetic defect. It is only when they are treated with great love and care and raised to a point of maximum happiness that they can find the mental courage and willpower to overcome this disability, allowing them to finally evolve into Swubat. While their powers do not increase to a tremendous degree as a result of evolution, nor do they really gain access to any new tricks, these bats are much more of a threat as a result of their enhanced ultrasonic cries, though in their case, it is easy to tell when they are about to use them to attack, as their tails will begin to vibrate from side to side at a rapid pace before delivering said attacks. These bats are most well known for their impressive courtship behavior, however, which makes them stand out strongly compared to other types of Pokemon. When it is time for Swoobat to mate, the males will rely not only on elaborate courtship dances to woo a female, but, more importantly, will emit ultrasonic cries of different frequencies and pitches in order to create an auditory overload that drives female Swoobat crazy. They're not the only ones, though, as the sound that is heard coming from them in these cases is generally enough to put any other life form that hears them, humans included, in a more positive mood. This is mainly because the pulses of ultrasonic sound they emit are infused with psychic energy and are thus intentionally designed to create an upswing in one's mood, though it is noted that male swoobats seem to be immune to their effects. This has led many to suggest the use of them in human therapy practices but the fact that they only emit these cries while courting females has limited their practicality, though they can still prove to be decent fighters to rely on in battle if needed. They might not be among the strongest of Pokémon of their type, but the members of the Wubat family are still fun-loving creatures that can be a joy to be around and much less dangerous than other bad Pokémon. You might have to work with them extensively in order to get them into a fully evolved state, but the interesting mix of attacks and techniques they can get access to can at least partially make the effort worthwhile. If you come across some of these bats in the wild and need a bit of a pick-me-up, then you might have found exactly what you are looking for. Just try not to go overboard, as repeated hard stamp attacks to the body can still leave it much more worse for the wear, and if you listen to the courtship calls of male swoobat for too long, you might end up in such a good mood that you forget to be afraid of the much more dangerous denizens of the habitats they choose to occupy, more than putting you at risk of an attack you may or may not recover from. Thank you all for watching this video. It is always an honor to be able to speak with you all on the subject of Pokemon in a way that brings me great joy and happiness in my work. If you would like to keep tabs on past and future work, click that subscribe button, check out my work on DeviantArt, and don't be shy about following me on Twitter, where you can find pertinent announcements on upcoming work before it is officially posted. Links to both can be found in the video description. If you would like to support my work and help Miguel and I continue to produce more content for you and improve upon our presentation, please visit us at my Patreon page, which you can also find a link to in the video description. Yeah, no. With that, I thank you for watching and I wish you well.